page two, getting to know you. C major, 4-4 four, four time, got some things to talk about. This is a nice solo, vocal solo, not necessarily a wonderful piano piece, but this arrangement is pretty good as far as piano arrangements go. I mean, some piano arrangements are just really terrible, but, but this one isn't so bad. There's a few awkward parts in here we need to talk about. I'm going to start with the right hand. At the beginning, the first few measures is just introduction. It's simple enough. Okay. The last measure, the first line, two staccatos and then not. And you're decrescendoing there. You're, getting, you're leading into it, but the, just that, make sure that third beat is not staccato. Right here. And then you're lifting up for the triplets because we want a little break in the sound before you start the triplets. And bring out the melody. So these these chords, you're just bouncing lightly. They don't have to be those notes. They can be whatever. It doesn't matter. You're holding that little finger down and you're just lightly bouncing. Follow their fingering there. It's okay in second line. The end of the line, lift up because it's the end of a phrase. Now, third line, second measure. Here's the first awkward spot. We're here. Now we need fifth finger on the F. See, the pedal will help, so you let the pedal carry the sound and you come on down and get ready. Because that F is an eighth note, it's going to move. And then the whole note, it's a four, and then substitute five. Sometimes, I usually do my finger substitutions immediately, but sometimes, because you need the other notes. If you don't, if you leave four on there, it's a stretch to play these other chords. Because you got to hold the four down. See? So just go ahead and substitute the fifth finger, and that makes the chords a little easier. Lift up and keep going. B flat there. Second finger on the eighth note. Lift up and move up. Last line, second measure. It is a staccato. So starting with the first measure. And go ahead and, I mean, even the D is staccato. You're playing the F sharp staccato, so lift the D up at the same time. They both come up together. And for the second measure, I recommend a 5, 4, 2, 1. That's the chord, and that's the fingering. And you're going to get this in various places. I recommend the same fingering every time. 5, 4. And then going on to page 3 is very similar to page 2 until you get down to third line. Got more trickiness coming in. Starting here, lift up, going up. This this one and that two, you're, there's a lot of D's in there. And I've tried to figure out a nice fingering that might help on here and I, one thing causes another problem. So solve one problem and cause another. So I, you're here, you can do a 5-4 if you want to. One and a one and a two, three, and then a five again. Here. And you're going to get this more a little later on, and it's the same mess every time. But I think the five four is it's a safer fingering. You have a better chance of hitting it if you actually change the fingers, even though it may seem more difficult. Rather than using the same finger every time. Again, the last measure is staccato. And then 5, 4, 2. Fourth line, second measure. Again, we got a lot of G's. I'll leave that up to you. And then the next measure, 2, 3. I, 
I still like that 5-4 fingering. Last measure, I recommend a 1-4 on the half note. Because you're coming off of here. They say 2, I say 3. For the last note of that, next to the last measure. The F, B, E. I, I do a 3. It's staccato. And you can you can come down and do a five one if you want to or one five. I just like to keep my hand in one position, so that's the way I would do it. And then that last chord is a E G A C staccato. Fun, huh? Left hand. Left hand's got to stay down through the whole thing. It provides the harmony and some rhythm at the beginning. Third measure, fourth finger on the E. And I would do a one, two, and then on the C's. Do one on both if you want, but I prefer one. And then the second line, second finger, you gotta come down. Connect them. Regardless of the phrasing in the right hand, connect the left hand. you get a rest then you that takes us down to the bottom of the page staccato and then the third measure I like their fingering here see this is that same chord we've been doing here they give you the fingering you're supposed to and they don't in the top hand I don't know why but yeah five four Then over on page three, it starts out pretty much the same till you get down to the fourth line. These are two note phrases, or two note slurs actually. It's down, up, down, up. The pedal is going to mess it all up, but still do the technique. Now some teachers would teach on a two note slur, do the second one staccato. interpretive thing. I don't teach that way, but you can experiment with it. If you like the feeling or the, the sound, go for it. But again, the pedal's going to cover it up if you do a staccato, because it's legato pedal throughout all of that. But you still do the technique. Last line, same fingering. It's 5-4-2. This chord. Now, in the second measure, you can do a 5-3 for this chord. That's fine. And then, for the third measure, I recommend a 5-2 because you got the next chord coming up. It's a 4-1, 2, and then the last measure for the left hand. Do this really, 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 really super duper slow at first because it, it's got tricky stuff in it. Third measure, it's a half note in the right hand. Real slow. Now if that's too fast, slow it down some more. I can go slower than that. Third line. Just take it really, really slow. There's no hurry on this. You can gradually build it up as you get a little more comfortable with it. I didn't even talk about the triplets. I'm hoping you can do triplets. One end of, two end of, three end of, four end of. The, the first one is at the end of the measure. It comes on four end of. Four end of, one, two, three end of, four end of. So you can pretty much pedal it the way they are. At the beginning, you're pedaling with the left hand. You're just catching this harmony. And lift the pedal up after you play the chord in the next measure. Connect them. In other words, here at the beginning. And you have to lift 
up in the third measure for the staccato in the left hand. Second line. And the last measure of the second line I lift up as I play the third beat. Third line, last measure. Again, lift up as you play the third beat. Now this, actually on every measure on this page, you're doing it the same way. Lift up on the third beat. So the second line, uh, excuse me, third line is this way. The fourth line, same way. And the last line again, second measure lift up, so we get a staccato on the first beat. So the starting with the first measure. And the last measure of the piece, you're pedaling it, and then lift up when you play the staccato, so we get a staccato. And then over on page three is the same way. So you get down to the third line, and this is legato for most of the line. Not crazy about pedaling the triplet, but we need to connect the Ds. So in order to do that, we just pedal the triplet. And the second measure there, the third line. And then the fourth line is legato pedal. lift up on the last beat of the last measure so that we're not slurring that because it's the end of a phrase anyway this way we can hear a break in the sound so I'm recommending you pedal the first two beats is fine and then legato pedal for the third and lift up on the fourth and then go on Lift up on the third beat there, the last line, third measure. You lift up on the third beat so we get a staccato. And in the last measure, lift up as you play the last chord so we get a staccato. As far as dynamics goes, you can play around with the dynamics. They apply to the melody. They're not giving you a whole lot of crescendos here or there or whatever. You can experiment with that. Let's play this together very, very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. You're getting to the point and the music is getting difficult enough, you probably really don't need to play with me. And this is such a famous piece, you probably already heard it. But I like to go ahead and still do a slow play with me for this piece. So I'm going to give us four counts and let's play it together. Slowly, if you want to. So the right hand starts here, the left hand's here, and the foot's on the pedal. One, two, ready, go. Two and a three. 